All, All right. right, let's get after so some our questions. first question Booyah. comes from Laura K Music Eight. Laura K Music. From have you Instagram. guys checked out? Well, so amazing on Instagram, but have you checked out her YouTube page? So yeah. she was she our first rap song. She was had our to first be, right? rap song. Like this was amazing. She did a rap song for us. It's cool, and uh, her YouTube page gets better by the day. So check it out. Um, definitely want to show She's the love. Out there hustling for sure. All right, so her question is, how do you tell the difference between good, healthy, and necessary boredom slash frustration working towards a goal and boredom or frustration that is arising because the goal itself isn't right? Uh, whoop. Yeah, whoop, whoop. This is a big question, and this one is so hard, and it can only be answered by the person. Um, one of the things that I do for myself is I ask, how much do I care about the goal? Right. Okay, so like... <clears throat> Man, nine times out of 10, like that's actually not true, but there's going to be a lot of stuff. I don't know what the percentage is, but there's going to be a lot of stuff day to day, just grindy stuff. And it's going to come in. It's going to go like when we first founded Impact Theory, I wanted to punch myself in the mouth. I was on the phone. Like, do you remember me raging at the top of my lungs about the IRS? Yes. I was losing my fucking mind. That was probably like, raging about the post office. Oh God. Like, uh, like it. it Everything that like I hate doing, the beginning of a business is like, it's my Goggins moment. And I didn't have Goggins to see me through. By the <laughs> way, just super random, I now consider like the set in the gym where your muscles are screaming and they're on fire and you do like more, those are the Goggins sets. So like, <laughs> as I was doing it today and today was leg day and like, oh man, you wanna talk about always finding a reason? Like, oh, I've done enough. Like, it really hurts, I don't think I can do another. Today I was like, motherfucker, like these are the Goggins sets and I just kept going. I wanted to pass out at the end of my workout today. Anyway, That's Goggins awesome. sets. But I like, didn't have Goggins. For me, you're saying that, and I'm just like imagining little mini Goggins is like your muscles like yelling at you. Yeah. And so like nice I'm visual. just seeing this like interesting visual because I'm a very visual person, I so I that. automatically went there. So anyway, I dig that. Continue to answer your question. So um, <laughs> it literally the beginning of a business is the Goggins moment for me. It's like all oh, this ridiculous stuff that I don't want to be dealing with. Paperwork. It's like contracts on steroids. Yeah, it's paperwork, all paperwork all the time. So there's so much of that. But I was looking like out into the future and going, how much do I believe in what we're trying to accomplish? Like not just from a business perspective, oh, like that's fun that. too, like to think about um, like, oh my gosh, like to build like a multi-billion dollar business and to create something massive. But more importantly, I actually believe to the core of my being that this is the answer to getting mindset to as many people as possible and that that will influence the world and that the world will be a fundamentally better place because I'm willing to deal with the IRS. And that's what it comes back to me. I'm willing to deal with this. I'm willing to put up with this because I really believe in what I'm trying to accomplish. Now, since then, we've also structured our days so that it's fun, right? So we've talked openly. Fun is like actually a thing um, that we do things like the Star Wars Day where we do celebrations. Yes. We're planning a company party to kick off the summer because why not? Like to do things that are fun. Uh, I really love doing our lives. Like these are a lot, yeah, a lot of fun, too. right? So it's like really making sure that you're able mm -hmm. to find like, where's the value? Like we need to, it needs to move the company forward, mm -hmm. but also like what are like, if there are 10 things that move the company forward and we can only afford to do seven, like if they're all equal impact, like what are the seven that we find the most fun, right? right. And so really making sure that that's a part of the question that you ask and make the mandate that like fun is, is something that we talk about. And it's like a critical part of whether we consider ourselves successful. Like if we do what we want to do, but everyone was fucking miserable along the way, I actually don't consider that a yeah. success. So that's a big part of it. Knowing what you're trying to accomplish in the end. If you believe in that, then that should be the thing that you're sort of pushing through to accomplish, um, to have a real deep why, something that sits to the core of you so that when you're dealing with the IRS and you're frustrated out of your mind and you're actually talking to a consumer advocacy group because it was getting that frustrating... <laughs> Um, that you're able to say and refine the feeling of joy from that, that's a huge indicator. So if it's not leading into a why, there's just not gonna be any fulfillment, uh, that eudaimonic happiness. So eudaimonic happiness, and go watch the um, Dr. Drew episode, he talks very eloquently about this, but it's the notion of techni, right? So helping other people is great, but it's like supercharged, it's, it's 10x at a minimum. When it's a skill, 
that you have uniquely um, acquired and can go out and help people. Was this, this is Laura Kay's question, right? Yeah. So like imagine Laura that it's, you're using music and that skill that you have acquired and your verbal ability to go out and help people. That's very different than ladling soup at a soup kitchen, which most anybody can do. So being able to help people with a skill that you've worked really hard to acquire, like there's very few things that are more fulfilling than that. Um, so if it's all feeding into that, I think if you, um, don't have those things, then that boredom is going to come in. The why isn't going to answer that question. You're not going to feel empowered by what you're doing. There's not going to be that level of fulfillment or excitement thinking about like why you're doing all this. So yeah, I think it, it essentially, this is definitely oversimplifying, but it essentially comes down to your connection to the why. Yeah. All right. Hopefully that helped Laura.